Hey there, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. Um, yeah, I lost last episode, so um, I restarted. I don't have my Pokemon anymore, I skipped the intro because we already saw that. Um, it hasn't been long, so here we are again at the uh, Pokemon Lab, and this time we can get another starter. Um, I'm probably not going to pick Bulbasaur again because I picked it last time. I still want to use Bulbasaur, but I feel like if I use it a second time, like... I don't know. I feel like I want to do something different, so I think I'm going to pick Squirtle. Yes, we've already seen this. Let's go. Ah, frick, I should have said no. Oh well, it's fine. Alright, yeah, Squirtle is what I'm picking this time. Because I picked Bulbasaur last time. If worst comes to worst, I'll pick Charmander if I lose again. Uh, what do I name this? I guess I could go with the obvious. Let's, uh, let's name it Leonardo. Because it's a Ninja Turtle. And that's literally just what it is. I might lose this battle, actually. Well, in action, he doesn't, he doesn't have Fairy Wind yet. Uh, it just starts with Confusion. Start fighting. Uh, it's Mild, which is up special attack, which is actually pretty good. Um, and Shadow Claw powers of Dark type moves. And it actually has decent IVs except for HP, which is much better than I could say for, uh, for Bulbasaur. <laughs> and we have Bite. Sweet. Let's put Bite at the top just so I can spam it. Stop using baby doll eyes. I don't know, see, rather you just tackle me. Okay, this time hopefully you get some better encounters. I feel like that's the main reason we lost to Horsey last time. Well, of course, he crit Bulbasaur, that was the main reason. And then the rest of my team couldn't fight it at all. Um, so, oh, let me buy some more Pokeballs, actually. Uh, yeah, because Onix and uh, Nidoran weren't exactly the best encounters I could have gotten. Hopefully this time there's something a little better. And Dark Fighting's a pretty good type, it's just that... I need something to cover my fairy and fighting weaknesses. So honestly, Nidoran would be great. Uh, like Nidoran male, I mean. I don't want a Nidoran female again. But if I had a Nidoran male or any poison type, that would help out a lot. Caterpie. That's fine. Uh, this won't kill it, right? Okay, good. That almost killed it. I'm fine with Caterpie. Um, at least it evolves quickly. I'll probably try to evolve it before I go into the fight. Because the horsey was level 13, right? I think it was. It was higher level than I was. So, I, I just need to make sure I'm uh, at least a little bit more trained up next time. Low fats joining the team. I don't know if there's a Mega Butterfree or not. I don't remember if there is. I looked through the Megas at one point, but it was a long time ago. Let's see. It's Docile, which is neutral. It, Shield Dust, which is good. It has actually pretty good IVs too, except for special defense. How do I keep getting random zeros and stuff? Um, but it's fine. As long as it has 30 speed and 31 special attack, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I just have to keep this thing alive and then I'll evolve it and, you know, having a Butterfree would be useful. Um, let me go heal. I'm gonna be paranoid as possible and just keep going back. So I found the run button. Oh, hello. Hey there, young. It's good to see you. You caught me when I'm taking a break. You wanna try hard at chipping wood, too? Okay. I should take this machine and see if your Pokemon give me a hand. Oh, it's cut! Nice. Um, I don't remember exactly how HMs work in this. I think... 
I don't I don't really want to give anything cut if I can't get rid of it. I'm definitely not giving it to Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We'll just stick with tackle. Well at least we have it. I mean, maybe we need it. Wait, can I use cut on grass? Well I guess I'm not gonna teach it to check just for that. I actually don't want to fight that hiker, because if I remember correctly, he has a Machop, and I'm probably going to lose to a Machop. <laughs> That's why I avoided him. I'm just going to try to level up a little bit more. This is the perfect chance to just bring in low fat and get a little bit of training. I mean, I, I did let it get free two free defense boosts, but it's okay. I was going to take forever to fight it anyway. Oh, and we keep getting these flinches. Three flinches in a row. Four flinches in a row. That's busted. And it was on the Pokemon I didn't even need it on. I think I just used up all my luck, so now I'm worried. <laughs> uh, let's see who else is here. Lofat leveled up a bunch from that. Yeah, let me try to evolve it as quickly as possible. I need a fighting type move on uh, Leonardo. I'm actually I'm gonna avoid the rest of these trainers just because I'm not not permanently. I mean I just want to make it to the to the cave so I can get my encounter in there and then I'll come back out and fight them for training. That way I can train everyone. Uh, this is actually really bad. I'm pretty sure it has gust instead of like heck, so I I don't. Well, the defense drop doesn't matter, but I'm worried because... Oh, perfect flinch. There we go. Leonardo's broken. It's basically like I have Serene Grace. Okay, let me swap back to Leonardo. Let me just go get my encounter and then I'll fight the rest of these guys. They're not gonna turn, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Give me something good, like I don't know, Cubone, I guess. Nose pass. That's all right, I guess. It's fine. Nose pass is fairly bulky, so plus I can have a Probo pass later. I don't know where you're supposed to evolve Probo pass in this game, so maybe it'll be a while, but hopefully it's. Fairly soon. <laughs> what do I name this? Uh, let's name it Schnoz. That's not how you spell it. That's not how you spell it either. Two Z's? Schnoz? I guess. <laughs> That's its name now. <laughs> it is naive, which is up speed minus special defense which is pretty bad for it um it has pretty bad stats that's okay it has equal special attack to attack so i guess i'm gonna make this one a special attacker it has bad defenses though yeah i doubt i'm gonna really use this but i have it on my team it's like eight it's 30 right oh no it's magnet pull that's worse i'd rather have it be sturdy okay let me get out of here without fighting anyone then I'll heal and come back. Hopefully I get, like, Karate Chop on Squirtle soon, because I need a Fighting-type move. I can probably fight that guy with uh, Low Fat once it's a Metapod. They're a Ghastly here? Man. It's okay, I'm happy with Low Fat. But not as happy as I would have been with a Ghastly. I'm, I'm trying to think on if I actually want to train up Nose Pass or not. I think I do, but not right now. Let's try to get Low Fat evolved. Having Butterfree would be huge. I did say I was going to wait to fight this guy, but oh well. Oh, and he has Focus Energy and probably Karate Chop too. At least he does no damage to... Low fat. Low fat can obviously fight this. 
Okay, as long as he's not using Karate Chop and he's using Low Kick, that'll do less damage. Sweet. Maybe he doesn't have Karate Chop yet. I'm not gonna go back and heal just for Low Fat. Low Fat can just swap out. I don't plan on using it in that many fights as a Metapod anyway. Let's see who else is here. Pump should get good XP. Yeah, Leonardo really needs a fighting type move before I move on. Probably a 10 out of 11, I'm hoping. Starly. These flying types are not good for me. I also don't know when Nose Pass gets Rock Throw. I'm just healing there, because I'm not sure if Shnaz actually does enough damage to fight this. Yeah, that's not very much damage. <laughs> Honestly, I think the Starly beats me in all on fight like this. Okay, I have to go back and heal again. Oh, and low fat's evolving. Three more levels and it'll be useless. I mean, useful. <laughs> it's already useless. Alright, let me just go and heal. Okay, who didn't I fight? Um, oh, this girl. I think that's it, right? She has a Roselia, right? I think so. It was something that Bulbasaur destroyed last time, yeah. As long as he didn't use growth on me, that's fine. Of course, it immediately goes for growth. Ow. Ugh, don't be like this. Don't use absorb. Ow. Okay, <laughs> at least it's still dead. That was almost really bad. Withdraw. That's not... That's not a fighting type move. I don't think there's anyone else here, is there? No, I don't think there is, but there's a Pokeball over here. I might do a little bit of grinding in the grass um, before I move on. Just to get everyone a little bit higher leveled, because I'm a little bit scared. Also, I mean, I'm not that great against rock types right now, so I want to get a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just do that now. I could grind in the cave, but like I said, I'm not that good against rock types, so I might as well grind here.
Alright, I'm back. Um, I didn't evolve it yet because I was getting annoying grinding. Um, this uses black and white's XP system, so I get decaying XP for fighting each wild Pokemon. So, I gave up on it and, uh, no, it's almost a Butterfree, so, you know, I'll just grind in here or, uh, I don't know, fight some trainers. I think this next trainer should give me enough to, uh, evolve, so it'll be fine. Plus, these are much higher leveled, so it'll be give me a lot more XP. I do want to get Leonardo to at least level 13 or 12, um, because I think that's when it learns its next move. Like, as a normal Squirtle, I think that's when it learns, like, I don't know, something. <laughs> so I assume that it's, like, level up movesets are mirrored to match the Delta version. That's what I'm guessing. So maybe at, like, 12 or 13, I'll learn, like, I don't know, Karate Chop or something, because I need something like that. At least these Machop can't do that much damage to me. Oh, just kidding, that hurt a lot. Well, I guess he did leer me, and he's quitting. Please stop. I can't even go into Leonardo, because that'll hurt like, too much. Um, I guess I'll just heal. If he leers me again, I'll swap out. At least I know he can't do any more damage than what his crit is doing. Stop, please. You know, having to fight all these fighting types is making me miss uh, having Bulbasaur. <laughs> but I'll have a Butterfree soon, so it won't even be as a buff problem anymore. Wait, am I faster? Or is it speed time? I'm not risking it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I wasn't paying attention to the last couple of things. I don't remember. I'm just gonna use another potion. Okay, I think I was faster, so I wasted some money, but it's okay. It's better safe than sorry. Once I get Leonardo a fighting type move, I'll try to focus a little bit of training into Nose Pass. That does no damage, what? He's just setting up on me. <laughs> does he not have any attacks? Oh no, that's that. Okay. And Lofat's evolving again. Cool, now it's actually useful. You know, it wasn't useless before, but it's much better now. Just keep sending these Baltoy my way, please. Um, actually, I don't know if I can run from this. So I guess I'll fight it. Um, let me bite the Diglett and I'll confusion the other thing. The Cuba. Of course he flinched. Let's try that again, thanks. Actually, let's just double into the Cuba and make sure it dies. Well, Tyrogue doesn't have any fighting type moves, so I'm fine. It is steadfast. <laughs> okay. You know, you never really get to see steadfast get used at all. Um, I'm just gonna swap. Actually, no, I'm not. I have to heal because I don't want to swap into Butterfree. <laughs> that would be a bad idea.
so many flinches. Save the flinches for the important battles, please. We're gonna run out. Okay, level 12 and I still don't have a fighting type move. Um, level 13? Crossing fingers? Actually, I, I, I will like grind up to level 13 while I'm in here, because it, it teleports me out. So, I might as well just try to level up before then. Because I think as soon as I go down here, Damien shows up and teleports me out. Yeah, so... Let me just go ahead and grind while before I go up the ladder. Alright, level 13, please. Torment. No! <laughs> That's not what I need! Um, should I give it a tail whip or should I? Let's give it a tail whip. I was really hoping for a fighting type move, but I guess I'm gonna have to move on without it. Because I'm not leveling up any more than that. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Let's just leave with Butterfree. That's really disappointing. Yes, yes. The guy is going to get assassinated by these two guys. The Abyssal Cult and the, uh... I don't remember what the other one is, but I'm guessing they're Groudon based since the other one's Kyogre based. I don't know if they told me what the other one's name was. Alright, well, hopefully I'm ready for this, because otherwise uh, we have a problem. And I'll have to start again with Charmander, which I don't want to have to do. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave with low fat. Let me buy a couple more potions, just in case I have to heal spam. I leave with Skrelp, right? I think so. So yeah, Butterfree is what I want to leave with. Alright, here we go. Let's try not to get murdered this time. This is a serious accusation you're making. Alright, well... Time to not die this time. I miss a cultist, I got Skrull. I'm surprised that's not a two shot, that's annoying. <laughs> oh no, it did two shot, perfect, high roll. That's what we need. Horsey, um... Do I stay in confusion or should I just swap? I think I'll just swap. Hopefully I'm faster, I can try to go for flinches. I'm not faster. And it has smoke screen. Okay, this is going much better than it did last time. I, I feel I felt like he was gonna crit me on that last hit. I, I, I like cursed myself for saying this is going well right when he clicked a water gun. But it's fine, it did go well. <laughs> hey, we're still alive this time. I'm sending the two of you to Helios City for your trial, although after that, I don't see a bright future for you. Vinculora Morte. Did he just use a spell on them? Did you just kill them? Of course not, I've just taken them to Helios City. Sorry for letting you two fight my battles, but I was curious to see how you would do. Don't worry, if you lost, I wouldn't have let you get hurt. I'm very impressed. You two are talented and responsible. If you ever pass through Helios City, why not stop by? 
Love to see the two of you again. For now, though, I should return. I have a trial to attend to. Goodbye. Did the auditor just give you a compliment? I think your foster mother is going to have trouble making you stay if that's the case. Damien, this is your chance to go on an adventure. You got an invitation from the auditor himself. Alright, time to go on our actual adventure. We gotta go to Midna Town. We can learn how to battle and everything there. I already know how to battle. Excuse me? Are you guys... Why can't I go out that way? Why are you blocking the path? Alright, so I guess we'll move on. I don't know if I still am not sure if I really want to train up Nose Pass. But I guess that's uh that's something I should think about for next episode. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh next time we should be able to make it to mend the town. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna use this. I, if anything I'll save it for later because Nose Pass just doesn't have a good level up moveset. Alright, yeah, bye.